In this video, I'm going to introduce you how to create your normal and bump maps using the GIMP image editing software. Now, when I began, what I did was I made a folder and I just called it GIMP. And since I'm utilizing this in relationship to the Unreal 4 engine, I called it GIMP UE4. I went out to pixabay.com. Again, Pixabay has photos, illustrations, vectors, etc. They're all as far as free art, etc. So use that to just find a stone wall base graphic here. So this is going to be my baseline as far as building out the normal and bump maps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click or you could do a file open if you already have GIMP open, but I'm going to go ahead and open up GIMP. All right, so one thing to point out is whenever I saved this file, it might be a little hard to see here, but I just gave it a descriptive name underscore base. Normally, whenever I am creating things such as the normal and the bump maps, I'll do the name of whatever the image is underscore base normal and bump. Now, to begin, you are going to want to be working under the filters drop down. However, your normal and your bump map elements are not actually located in the same spots here. For example, under filters, if you go to generic, this is where the normal map is located. So if you click on normal map, you're going to get a pop up window where you can go through and change the scale and you can change the mode as far as your tileable, things like that. You can change opacity. Again, from an introductory standpoint, and just to get you up and running as far as getting a normal and a bump made, I'm gonna go ahead and say okay. Now, be careful whenever you do this though, because the next step is going to be coming up to the file dropdown menu to save or export your newly created map here. Now, one thing that GIMP likes to do is right above the export as button, there is actually overwrite the current file. You want to just be really careful, keep an eye out, make sure you're hovering over export as. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just come up to the name here. I'll keep it as a JPEG. JPEGs can be imported into uh, Unreal, Unity, etc. And I'm just going to change this to normal. And I'm going to tell it export. Quality's fine for me. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could crank it up to 100. Uh, I'm just going to export. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to edit and we're going to undo the normal map. This is a kind of a quick workflow thing whereby if you know, you've already just made the normal map, uh, now we can just dive in and make the bump. So what I'm going to actually do here, though, is making a bump map is a little bit different. You're going to have to make a layer, set it to a grayscale, and then actually apply the graphic to act as the bump. So to do this, your layer location in GIMP is over on the right hand side here. If you've used Photoshop before, it should look very similar here. All the way at the bottom here, it looks like a little plus symbol with uh, a piece of paper. I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and I will call this bump map. Say OK. I'm going to make sure it's in front of my base file. And then one thing you may need to do is you may need to come over as far as your foreground and background colors here on the left hand side where your toolbox is. You may have to double click and actually change as far as the grayscale. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. And then coming back over, double check to make sure under the layers that, in my case, bump map is highlighted. You can tell because it's got the darker bar highlighting it there. And I'm going to go under Edit, and I'm going to say Fill with FG or Foreground Color. OK, so I've got kind of a gray scale going on here. The next step now is to go back into Filters. Now, if you remember for the normal, we went under generic. However, for a map, we actually want to go to map and then bump map. Now, the bump map here, you're going to have some options, but specifically, you need an input element. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 
the question mark here. And it's going to bring up images, but more importantly, it's going to bring up the layers that are currently in your file. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that stone wall. And you can see here how it's now applied as far as the depth and shadows to the overall um, grayscale here. You can come in, you can play around with elevation, you can make it like super duper jaggy. Maybe you want it a little bit more subtle. Um, you can also change as far as depth is concerned or if you want it to be again, much lighter. At the end though, just make sure you say okay. Once again, at this point, you're gonna do just like you did with the normal. You're gonna go up to file, again, be careful to make sure you're not choosing export to Stonewall Normal or whatever the name of your file is. You want to make sure you're hovering over that export as. And here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the word normal after my underscore and I'm going to change this to bump. I'm going to go ahead and export. Again, it's going to ask you for you know quality. I'm just going to go ahead and tell it export. And now at this point, if I come back over to my folder here, you can now see that I have the three files that are needed as far as creating and baselining a texture in a game engine and then building out the material as far as giving it that depth and shininess and also the shadowing that the lighting would catch in the game engine.